All right, on roll call, Mr. Bartlett. Here. Mrs. Brown Knight. Here. Ms. Gelbaum. Here. Dr. Lewis. Here. Mrs. Rankin. Here. Uh, Mr. York. Here. All right. Um, I'd like to take a moment in here. The village lost an exceptional resident uh, last night, John Bentley. He, he'd been battling a time, you know, with cancer. Um, I, John and I served together on the ARB. He was an all-around, you know, great guy. Really, we appreciate his service to the village and his dedication. If we could just have a, a moment of silence here, please. Thank you all. Um, all right, we have three sets of minutes. Uh, we have the 27th, the 13th, and the 15th. Any questions regarding any of those minutes? No? We all good? All good. All good? All good here. Well, if that's the case, uh, motion and a second, please, to accept. So moved. Second. Second. Mr. Bartlett? Are we voting? Because again, there, I was not at the meeting on the 27th. Oh, so we should do them each separate. Mm -hmm. Huh? We should do them separate. Yeah. I was going to abstain for the 27th because I was not here. So I'll just put you down for abstaining for that. I'll just do them separately. So I abstain for that one. I'm all good with the other two. Okay. <laughs> okay. Same with, with you. You were not here for the 27th. Correct. Is that okay. correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can record it down as such. Mm -hmm. oh, all right. Um, Ms. Gelbaugh? Aye. 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 Dr. Lewis? Dr. Lewis. I'm sorry. I was talking to my neighbor. Mm -hmm. Aye. Ms. Rankin. Aye. All right, Mr. York. He called me. Aye. All right, I'll accept those minutes. All right, in communications, we have Police Chief Hines' uh, report. Chief, you have any remarks, comments? Uh, no, I don't. Thank you. Are there any questions from anyone regarding the report? No? Are we all good? Uh, looks like things are about the same, I guess, eh, Chief? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, from uh, Rod Holloway, we have the uh, building department report permits and other, has a nice little graph there on the back, basically building permits are holding about the same. Any, any Rod's on his uh, spring break. We have any questions or anything like that, you can email him. Uh, can I, I, I just want to ask, sure. add a question. We, we did start the rental inspection. Yes. And uh, current rental certificates will, uh, permits will expire in three years. Yep. You know, my assumption is it would be in our best interest to do regular communications with those who are not in compliance. Do you have a suggestion on that cadence, or can it be pretty random? Or it can be pretty random, but I think you got to remind them what they got to do. You yeah, know? I think the problem in this community is most of the apartment owners certainly know what the law is in that regard. And I'm a little surprised that some guys haven't challenged us on it just yet. I and think they're going to wait till. It yeah, I think. So. I mean, because you saw the crowds that we had here yeah. back when yeah. we passed it. But if they do, they do. I mean, we're on solid ground. We really are. We've had early good response. You yeah, know, like, it could, but it kind of has tailed off. Well, and maybe it, that's to be expected. It's usually those who, you know, <laughs> didn't have an issue with it to begin with. You know, they responded. Those who might have a, somewhat of an issue, I think. But, you know, Rod is fairly good at communicating and reminding that, you know, you need to come on with this and get it in. So, you know, in that regard, I think we're... We're okay. Yeah, I think that that uh, and Rod and I talked. We've got some announcements about the pool and tennis, and I know that we wanted those apartment owners yeah. to communicate. So I think when we send that out, maybe we can do a reminder. Reminder. Here's where we are. Yeah. So we'll do that. I'll get when Rod gets back. We'll do that. Okay. Um, also, additionally, uh, there's a spending request in here. Um, this is the request to replace the front doors on this building the mm -hmm. big glass window over the front door. And originally in this spending request, there are the five double hung windows that are on the south end of the building. Um, now, 
there's a bit of an issue with this report in that this basically, this spending request is just for the, the doors and the windows. There was no um, install uh, figure oh. in this. However, it kind of was, I talked with Rod today by phone because he was uh, driving down South Carolina. And I, as I understand it, I mean, there was, there was 27,000 was the original allocation for this. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Okay. So there would be approximately, you know, 2,000 left there. And then there's a sales tax figure that's in here that they somehow have added in that that would come out. And that's for $1,800. And then additionally, if we only do three of the five windows, we're, we pick up another 3,600 there. And that gets us approximately to around five or 6,000, I believe it is, that would be left. I mean, after we pay for the windows and the doors, correct? Correct. Yeah. And Rod's best estimate on the install is somewhere between, say, three and $5,000. And so I'm, I'm thinking that even though we don't actually have the number firmly in here, are, are we okay with this? Yeah, so the issue is if we go through and purchase all of this, all these windows and doors, if we don't have enough, we're out of money. We can't install them. So, you know, we could take two of the windows off and, uh, and then that would definitely give us enough money to uh, install, possibly. But I think if we approve it as is, it's a little risky on how much you're going to have for install without having an install quote. So it looks like the, cause it's three in the office area and two downstairs, right? So you could still do the office area. Yes. Do those three at least. Yes. For now. Right. Why, um, why don't we want to just get a quote and improve it? In well, a couple weeks? part of the issue is, is that there's a huge lag time on the, on the front door and the window it could yeah. be as, as much as six months. It may be even a little bit longer. That's why we really wanted to, you know, sort of get this approved so we get that ordered uh, kind of a thing. Um, we, do, we do have installers, that, yeah. you know, people that we've, we've talked to about doing this. Um, <clears throat> Marvin themselves, you know, ha has installers. We were talking with uh, Scott uh, Malone. He, he potentially could be an installer. But we haven't, we just haven't, you know, firmed it yet as to who would be doing it or, you know, what a firm price would be. But I mean, like I'm saying, we have an, a, an approximate idea of what the install would be. That's the three to $5,000. So what I would recommend is if you're going to approve it to, to get some things on order is maybe approve it with a contingency of getting the install quote first. Uh, first like you could put in let's say the order for the door because mm -hmm. we know we're, we're going to do that maybe the door and the two windows above but before we say yes to any windows get the firm quote okay. on install of everything to see if it all fits into the 27 yeah okay and then so if you were to make a motion to approve it say approve it but with the contingency that uh, we have to have the install fit within the 27,000 or we need to start taking off some of the windows, like the two lower ones or something like that. Okay, so. Does that make sense? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, how does that get us so that we can order? It's, see, it's you the lake. You order the. The, the, the lake time is on the door in the big window. Right. Yeah, that's what we want to order. And so that, yeah, so that definitely fits in, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Right. And that's where the contingency, say we will approve the order uh, contingent oh, okay. on the install fitting in within the 27,000, and if not, you, you know, or we can say hold off on ordering the additional windows okay. until we have the install quote. Yeah, okay. But if the install quote comes in and it's all under 27, you can go ahead and order the additional windows. It oh. seems like it would make sense to do it that way. You know, Richard, you just, just go ahead and say, let's order the doors and the and top the windows now. Mm -hmm. Go get the quotes for the install, and then we can come back with the total picture at that point yeah. in time. Okay. Since that's the long lead time. That's where the lag time is. The lead time is yeah. required right. for the Yes, yes. Okay. Right, right. So and we have a price for the door and the two windows, right? Correct. The, yeah. And, yeah, they're all priced out separately. And then separately. we have to install, too. Well, right. Yeah. But worst case scenario, we store right. them and do them next year. I mean, it sounds well, like if we'll you be just fine. Ordered, yeah. If you it just order like the door and window now, we clearly have enough to cover yeah. installation. For that, right. yeah. Yep. yeah. Right. So, yeah. and really, we are, we're just a, giving you permission to spend this money with this company, mm -hmm. which 
not to exceed. So if it's much less, it's okay. So yeah, but I, I, you, you just have to get the, yeah. the, the quotes for installation and start subtracting out windows until you get there, right? Get there, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. When you got two more thousand to go, oh, this yeah, is 25 to get to 27. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If the install comes back, you know, within that three to five, then then we've got it. Yeah, yeah. We've got it made. I mean, we may have to drop a window, or two windows. But the the, the key ones are the three that are in, in the you know the administration office. Those are the big ones we want to get. Well, I mean, uh, the big thing is the door, the door. front door. Yeah. I think we all agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So then, what do I need here? I need a motion to amend. No. I I move we. Uh, Can I just uh, ask a real quick question? Sure. Sorry. It, it is, I'm just clarifying just to make sure I understand. It says one door, but that means the one well, door. Well, it's a door. It's a door unit. Yes. It has two panels. Two panels. Okay. Yes. I just want, just want to make yeah. sure we're good. Question though. <laughs> yeah. And it actually, if you have any questions, I mean, about what it looks like. I mean, there's a drawing in there. Yeah. They, okay. I, I they've done a really sign. good job of matching yeah, what the existing door looks like. A lot of, a lot of paper oh, here. Expensive <laughs> door. <laughs> yeah. Brand new. Yeah. Uh, so I, I move that we man. accept uh, the spending request uh, uh, contingent on. Uh, installation bids a bid. that that come below total allocation. Yeah, and to give, now. if I may, to give the the mayor discretion to delete projects off of this to reach that to adjust, threshold. Adjust accordingly. Yeah. I don't know if that made any sense. No, that's no, no, it makes sense to me. But I'll second it. Whatever it was, I'll second it. <laughs> <laughs> do we do we have a second? Yes. No, Kelly did. Okay. Kelly did. Okay. Okay. Mr. Bartlett. Aye. Ms. Brown Knight. Aye. Ms. Gelba. Aye. Dr. Aye. Lewis. Mrs. Rankin. Aye. Mr. York. Aye. All right. Thank you all for that because I, I really think that I, I so want to get that project underway. All right. We have yeah. another. Yeah. 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 I know. <laughs> Before what's left of the door literally just yeah. rots away. Um, well, we have another spending request here. This is for the fireworks. Um, there were two options here. Um, they were. Did I lose my? This is for this is for the six thousand. This would be essentially to put on what we saw last year. Now there was a, there was a larger option. I think it was for sixty nine hundred uh, dollars. Um, and I think was was I, was I going to add some time? However, I basically sort of made the executive decision, if you will, <gasps> that we not spend the extra $900 and we just go with what we spent last year. Mm -hmm. Are we all good with that, more or less? So he did come yeah. back, though, with $6,900? Yes. Okay, I, and then basically saying that... There was going to be an extra bell or whistle. Have to modify the display. Yes. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm. Are we good? Yep. Good. So did I thought that these were donated in the past. Well, there's separate. There's a separate question. I I do get donations okay. for right. this. Now, does it cover the entire amount? No, but I do actively that we we do have some very generous residents that will send donations and usually about half of it's covered. That's right. Yeah. So, but just to clarify, we're voting for a lesser show this year. Well, equal dollar amount potentially a lesser show a, well it says modify the display yeah. you're used to getting in order to account for price increases yeah they'll take pity on us yeah it will I'm be with that. it will be ever so slightly <laughs> less lesser it will do well, we know that unless I you want to go unless I you want to go for the nine hundred dollars <laughs> find it hard to believe that anyone would I mean, really I mean look, notice look, it if we didn't talk he gives about us it. about 20 minutes right? of a really good display I would think that. I trust you guys. I have nothing. I don't know anything about fireworks. Uh, okay. I know you don't want to hear this, but if we moved it to Sunday, would it be dramatically different? Because this is Monday the third. I don't think people are going to work Monday or Tuesday. No. Um, Monday to actual Labor Day. No, Fourth of yeah, July. Yeah, Monday. Mon Labor Day. July no, Monday's third. the third. July third is Monday. Tuesday's the fourth. Uh huh. Um, and that's the rain date. The fallback is the. Uh, we did go back and forth on that date. Did, did, how did it well, say that we hit on? Well, Monday is an actual work day. We, you know, the personnel will be here. Sunday we will not. So if you need personnel, then you're looking oh, yeah, at probably for overtime. Help set up and other. Okay. Things. Thank you. Um, 
Sounds yeah. good. Okay. Which is another third. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. This is third or fourth. Well, yeah, fourth third third sounding better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I need a motion and a second, please. So moved. Second. Mr. Bartlett. Aye. Ms. Brown Knight. Aye. Galba. Aye. Dr. Lewis. Aye. Um, <clears throat> Mrs. Rankin. Aye. And Mr. York. Aye. All right, uh, Chief has a memorandum in here regarding the purchase of another police car. Um, we've had a little difficulty with the original one that was ordered from Ford. Apparently we can no longer get that car and we are now going to get a Chevrolet, correct, Chief? That's correct, sir. Okay, and we are, I mean, what do we need here? We're not, we're, we're not going back into the finance committee with this. Shouldn't need to. No, don't need to. Very produced, very produced. Well, the whole council approved it as part of the permanent improvement process, mm -hmm. permanent okay. improvement fund process. And you, yeah, and you approved it for a Ford, right? But, I mean, That's we approved the dollars. We didn't worry about right, the maker right. model. It was just like, okay, here's the money set aside for that. That's right. That's fine. So, Chief, it's, so we all understand one another. Chief can go ahead with his order. Well, work it through Richard. Yeah, sure. I mean, you have a purchase request that you normally send through right i can send that through tomorrow once okay. you once council tells me it's okay yes sir and just well, and that's a state bid car is that right i'm sorry is the is the chevy a state bid car that's correct yeah and so the so the other part of the money was part of the permanent improvement fund the other part was coming from the alcohol education correct. enforcement. so as correct. long as we have enough money and yeah, yeah and, and chief and i have talked about that so yeah. we've got enough for one car yeah we but, we actually are in need of two but because of the price increases on the car and outfitting the car. Mm -hmm. uh, um, according to Mr. Ford, and, um, we don't have that. for, So we're just going to have to go with one and then, and then Ford, reboot that's next why year. You're mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get it on the order earlier. Okay. 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 So we're, we're all good on this mm -hmm. one. Okay. I'll get a purchase order to you tomorrow, tomorrow. Uh, Mayor. What's the difference in the prices of the vehicles? Oh, uh, they've went. They yeah, went what, up. What was, what did we, I forget what we budgeted for the Ford. Well, the, the Ford was like 36. Uh, wow. The Fords, if you can get them, or when you can get them now, are 46 to 47. And the Chevrolets are, are right at uh, 47. 47. Seven. Yeah. Yeah, seven. yeah. And then you have to outfit them. And, of course, that's increased also, just like everything else. So. All right, uh, Richard, uh, we have fiscal reports here. Yeah, I don't Guys, have anything else to add. add any, any um, very comprehensive, very, very well done here, Richard, I must say. So how are we doing? I almost think he knows so what how he's we doing. doing? Yeah. We're spending money and we're getting money. <laughs> are we getting more money than we're spending? In summer? Uh, not yet. Not yet. So not we're we're, yet. we're getting there. March and April yeah. are the big ones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we actually uh, getting our uh, our property tax uh, deposited tomorrow. So it'll be like $710,000. So that's good. All right. <clears throat> All right, permission to address council. It looks like we have a... This is, I don't know, this is very helpful. What's that? I just appreciate the report. Thank you. You're welcome. We have a talkative group in here tonight. <laughs> All right, motion to pay the bills. Everybody looked over the bills? Yes. Yeah. Any questions regarding the bills? You need a motion to pay the bills? I need a motion. If there are no questions and hearing none. So moved. Second. Mr. Bartlett? Aye. Ms. Brown Knight? Aye. Gail Bach? Aye. Mr. Lewis? Mr. Rankin? Aye. Mr. York? Aye. All right, let's pay those bills. All right, uh, we don't have committee reports. And then under miscellaneous, <clears throat> Arbor Day. Day, plant those trees. Friday, April the 28th. Hey, FYI, for, uh, 50 West is going to brew a special beer for our beer day. 
And um, in honor of the centennial there, you, apparently there's a thing called centennial hops that are actually 100 years old. And they're going to mm -hmm. use them. Mm, sounds delicious. Mm. So, and they'll have a, they'll have it for a, I think about a week before um, the actual centennial. So, you know, get your support. So, they're, well, let me understand that they're using hops that are a hundred years old to brew the beer. That's yeah. my understanding. There's hmm. there's a thing called centennial hops, hops. and they're a hundred years old. Will I don't it, know how it, they preserve them. I mean, will it taste a little stale? A little. <laughs> I think they know what they're doing Thanks. at 50 West. I free beer is free beer, Bill. Yeah, but okay. It's not that's, free. I was just saying, I didn't hear the word free. That's kind There's of no awesome. free. There's no free. But I, heard my, I mistook tree for free. <laughs> so somebody 100 years ago knew to decide. <laughs> Had the foresight. <laughs> Had the foresight to know. <laughs> to lay them down. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Maybe. Okay. Uh, it's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really cool. Right. So, I'm glad I drank tequila. And they're, they're supporting us, so let's talk about right. that. Uh, thank you, 50 West. If we can move on <laughs> to resolutions. All right, this is the first reading to appoint Kelly Rankin as a member of the South 80 Trails, Gardens, and Park Advisory Board for the calendar year 2023. All right, can thanks. I respectfully request that this be postponed I love Kelly. I, I love my. I, I respect Michael Kittner, but we should have this conversation with the current. I would think with the current. There's five. There's already five members. Right. The, the the ordinance says there'll be five members. Oh, so we're not filling. We're not filling a vacancy. Oh, I thought no, we were filling no a vacancy. vacancy. I thought we were filling a vacancy here. There's no because, I, you know, for, first last week we sent out that email about no parking and my phone rings. Randy, what's going on? Yeah. Um, we have a meeting tomorrow night. We have, we, we've taken a picture of all the signs. We're going to get Rick involved. There's a no trespassing sign. Yeah. Clearly, no one's paying attention to a no trespassing right, sign. Right, so right. We who is having a meeting tomorrow? Uh, the okay. South 80. All right. Oh, okay. So then we'll just need a motion and Are a second and, 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 to table I, I, these, please. Uh, I'm like their council. So moved. Rep. Oh, Thank sure. You. Now I see. Oh, second. Step on our range. No, they just. All right. They so, apparently, I do. I got it. Okay. All right. We're, we're gonna we're gonna table second. these two. Yeah. yeah. All right, Mr. Bartlett. Aye. Uh, Brown Knight. Aye. Kelba. Aye. Dr. Lewis. Aye. I think Dr. you're supposed Lewis. to say something. I think you're supposed to say something. Mrs. Rankin. Aye. Mr. York. Aye. Okay. Hmm. Well, gee, I guess you uh, you Q jumpers. It's too bad you didn't speak up about this before it got this far. Okay. Uh, this is the first reading resolution well, authorizing time. mayor to execute and file application with the Ohio Department of Natural Resources to apply for financial assistance in connection with the Dogwood Park project and the municipal swim pool and declare emergency. Okay, you've had the first reading. I need a motion and a second to suspend the rules and allow for the second and third reading. So moved. Second. Uh, Mr. Bartlett? Aye. Ms. Brown Knight? Aye. Ms. Gelbaum? Aye. Dr. Lewis? Are you there? Aye. <laughs> Sorry, can we see? Mrs. Rankin? Aye. Uh, Mr. York? Aye. May we have the second reading, please? Resolution authorizing mayor to execute and file application with the Ohio Department of Natural Resources to apply for financial assistance in connection with the Dogwood Park project and the municipal swim pool and declare emergency. All right, any discussion? Do we all know what this is? Randy, do you have any? They're, they're due uh, April 15th. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna, the big one's going to be for the pool. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We wrote one last year, so we're going to try to tweak that. And I reached out to K Catherine Ingram's office today. Oh, she was the one good. that sent us the letter about yeah. us getting the, and I thanked her. Right. And I, 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 I asked her, to, I wanted to talk to her about this one. Sure. So we'll see what happens. See what happens. All right. Any other thoughts? No? Maybe we have the third reading. Resolution authorizing mayor to execute and file application with the Ohio Department of Natural Resources to apply for financial assistance in connection with the Dogwood Park project and the municipal swim pool and to declare emergency. All right, a motion and a second to adopt. So moved. Second. Mr. Bartlett? Aye. Ms. Brown Knight? Aye. Ms. Gelbaugh? Aye. Dr. Lewis? Aye. Mrs. Rankin? Aye. Mr. York? Aye. All right, uh, now I need a uh, motion and a second to evoke the emergency clause. So moved. Second. 
Mr. Bartlett? Aye. Mr. Brown Knight? Aye. Gelbaum? Aye. Dr. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Rankin? Aye. Mr. York? Aye. All right. Okay. Go that way. All right, this is the first reading to set forth building permit fee schedule to be utilized by the Village of Marymount Building Department. Okay, that was the first reading. We'll have the second reading next time. Okay, this is the first reading. <laughs> reading. <laughs> Resolution or, or creating reading. a new capital project fund for Dogwood Park. All right, that was a, we'll have the second and third reading next time, or the second reading next time. Okay. Ordinance, one ordinance. There's two. Two. Uh, this is the first reading, an ordinance authorizing application and contracting with the Ohio Public Works Commission, the Southwest Ohio Regional Transit Authority, and Nature Works. All right, that was the first reading, the second reading next time. This is the first reading to amend Chapter 150.16, Building Permit Schedule of Fees. Okay, that was the first reading, second reading, next, next uh, council meeting. All right, um, at this time then, I'm going to call for a motion to go into executive session. The, the, the one, I did want to, um, everyone's, if I may. No, um, please. Everyone got the Kinders report on Murray Path. So I wanted to, if we could, the next council meeting, yes. have a dialogue about that and make our decision on what we want to do. Yes. Um, I talked to, to, to Rich and the mayor about it. I don't think it's, any, because this is such a big decision, I don't think it's something we do in a committee and write a report and then do it. I think it's something that we should do uh, in this chamber. Um, uh, my question is, is it, 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 uh, it's a big deal. Um, uh, should we do special communications with the public about this? I know that you can maybe send out your email to the email subscribers. I'm just wondering if we should try to do more than that. Well, that raises a good point. Um, I, the The alignment study, I, I, I'm assuming you all have, have basically seen it and hopefully read at least parts of it. Um, it, it it's, it's lengthy, it's large, it is comprehensive, you know, and it does outline the three or four uh, basic options there. Um, I don't know, this, this raises a good point. Should we discuss that in council before we actually make a decision as to which op option we wish to vote on? Or should we uh, engage the public in some way and lay the options out there? Although I do believe, I mean, at this point in time, I mean, there have been, how many public meetings have there, there been? Th two or three. Uh, and, and focus groups. And focus groups at which the options were presented and the public was given, you know, ample opportunity to ask questions and respond and, and basically say what, what you know, they would like, what the preference would be. And this report does indicate the results of those surveys. It does. It does have that in there. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking possibly it's time for us to make a decision. Yeah, I think the public discourse, I'm happy yeah. with what we've done. Yes. Um, yeah. I do, I do wish, I do think that we need to communicate a little uh, broader mm -hmm. that we're going to do this next I think maybe maybe it's just doing your email blast I can do that we can you know clearly it'll be on the agenda that it's going to be discussed I will get word you know through the email we can also put an additional you know on the website or something and those who wish to basically hear our discussion about it are welcome to come to council that night well, and they can and they can speak to council too if they want to in the in the interim addressing council. So well, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they yeah. They, they, they yeah. I mean, are we all agreed. I mean, basically yeah. that yeah. allows for ample. I, I think, think it does. I can just from the safety committee meeting last week. There are still a lot of people who want to be heard about this bike path. Sure. And if we don't include and send out additional announcements, I think you're going to have a lot of angry people. Well, we can especially we can, for the people that live over there. Okay, okay. So well, what we are you suggesting in terms of additional? Again? What would an additional announcement be other than say the email blast, putting it on the website? What what else? Why don't we go ahead and do flyers again and pass them out to everybody that lives over there, and that way we can say you know we've got the flyers out. If if okay. they don't show up at the council meeting, they had plenty of right ample opportunity. Ap opportunity. So. Okay, when you say over there, you're talking about the Hiawatha Rumble. Rumble type, yeah. that area. Everybody that's going to be directly impacted okay. by it. No. Because there are still a lot of people who don't want it all right. All right. at all. Okay. So 
Well, with your assistance, then we'll put together a flyer and organize the troops and yep. get and it out. And okay. Yeah, I can help with that. And there's a group of residents over there that okay. will help pass them out. But this is to take place at the next council meeting. Yes. Yes. So we need. We'll just make sure we get the flyers, you know, printed and mm -hmm. given to everybody to help pass out, so that we can say, you know, we had these out a week or so before. Okay. Well, it'll be two weeks. So. so okay. Just to clarify, are you saying just the Rembolt Hiawatha portion, not the Murray? You know, like. Oh, you don't want to get into the Murray yet. I don't okay, think. Okay, this is just a recommendation about that. So because they haven't, we haven't been awarded a grant for the Murray gotcha, part. Gotcha. Gotcha. And I did ask uh, uh, oh, Dave okay. Myers to. Um, go to Kleiningers and just ask them if we could do something else instead of putting an actual path on Murray mm -hmm. to make Murray Avenue a uh, share of the road mm -hmm. and make it a one-way street because you really can't pass a car going opposite directions right now and he said that he was gonna talk to you know the, the group and just say you know see if that's a possibility mm -hmm. that's that's right I, I sorry I okay. that slipped my mind so it's okay okay huh. I think that's good. All right. Anything else before we go into exam? Yeah, I, and I would just, I, I did a committee report that wasn't accepted and I would like to, um, we got a grant for this back in August. I get an email every week. Um, we have money to pay for this. I'd like, if I could with my committee schedule, see if right now we could schedule a follow up so we can get this done. A committee re to review the bids for Dogwood Park. To do the planning, right? This the is planning the, bit. This it's all. It's just for the plan. Correct. Right. So, how does next week look? Okay. Did you guys work out all the little glitches that you had no. in it? No. Well, if you may, what are the glitches? If you could, it's, it's not let on me the know. Agenda. I would yeah. rather not talk about. Yeah, this. let's. It's, right. not on it's the probably agenda. something for a committee about. report right now. But I think it's a good idea to get back into committee to yeah, discuss the issues fine. that everyone's concerned with and then make your report to council as what you think is best. Okay. I think that'll work on it. But he just wants to schedule the Yeah, no, that's well, fine, but I don't want to I don't want to go into the details of so understand no. that. How about scheduling? Are yeah, the scheduling's fine. Okay. So how's next week look? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Monday can you schedule um Why are we doing Monday that I can't. All right, we'll work out we'll we'll sidebar it. We'll get the yeah. we'll get any it. anything but Monday and Wednesday for me. Does that sound, right. that sound bothering you? Um, oh, that is right. Um, Tuesdays are bad too, right? Plus, Randy, I, I don't, I don't have access Thursdays to the calendar. Oh, okay. so good call. Can, if you guys can do it yeah, and then right. check with me tomorrow, right. we Just, can get if that. If you could One, send me your availability, and uh, we'll see what we can. I think we need to caucus. We have completely opposite schedules. Oh, okay. Let's caucus after the meeting. Hey, Bill, are we going to also, from you know, from the committee meeting we had just before this about putting it to the finance subcommittee. Oh yes. The, oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good. Ohio Thanks for the reminder. Uh, the Ohio plan proposal stuff. The, the, other, Ohio, the other four elements. The, the other four elements of the Ohio plan proposal will remain, or because it's already there, basically, yeah. will yeah. remain in the finance subcommittee. The economic development portion of that will go into the in, economic no, into development economic development into Marcy's committee. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. We've all agreed okay. to that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other committee assignment work? Okay. If you're going into executive session, you do know you have to state the reason for that. Yes. Well, so, well, that'll be in the motion, will it not? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And since I don't, I'm just moving on. No, I know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need a a, um, a motion and a second to go into executive session and. In the motion, someone will please have to state the reason for doing it. And Mr. York, I believe you were very eloquent earlier about this. Uh, 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 <laughs> 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 Nothing Is like being in the village employee. Yes. Uh, I, 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 move we, I move that we adjourn into executive session to discuss a village employee matter. Yes. Is that sufficient? Or is it employee matters? I mean, yeah. if, yes. Matters. Yeah. That's fine. Is that fine? Okay, personnel matters. Yeah. Personnel. Matters. personnel. Yeah. I'll second. Oh, hold on here. Oh. Um, Dan, we're going to have to ask you. Wait a minute. They, well, we they can stay until, 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 until we're roll until call. We do, it. do we have the second? Yeah, yeah I second it. Are we going to 
Do we have to come back into session to adjourn? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, Mr. Bartlett. Aye. <clears throat> Mrs. Brown Knight. Oh, are these all? Gelbach. Aye. Dr. Lewis. Something Aye. going on I'm not aware of. <laughs> Mrs. Rankin. Aye. Uh, Mr. Are Aye. Sorry, Randy, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. No, it's all good. <laughs> no. just... So we're going to adjourn this meeting. Okay. At seven oh five. You're not adjourning eight. it, you're suspending, suspending it. We're suspending it. Okay, suspending. So we turn the video and the microphones on. Right, right, yeah. right. Do we need to hey, let him?
Yeah, we, we're still we're we're back now in back in regular session. Yep. Yeah. That Testing. was just suspended, so do we, do we need now? a motion to unsuspend? Bang. No, you just did that. I did, did that. that. I did that. We're on motion. So we're back on? Right we're on double secret probation. probation. Hello. The motion that was just made back on? was to end, exit the executive session and go back into the regular council meeting. And that's what you guys just voted on. It's been approved, okay? Okay. Now, now I'm going to adjourn the regular meeting. There you go. Go, go. Go. Go, Bill. <laughs> go, Bill. Go. <laughs> Bill. go. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm giving you my... <laughs> All right. Yeah, Rob. You're like the guy I went to law school with at 10 to 10 every night.